you ever been to a car meet before? This is the kind of place you can always find a race, if that's your thing. When the original Horizon released two years ago, Playground Games took the in-depth Forza handling, customization, and community features and broke away from the constrained circuits to create an open world with street races, dirt tracks, and more. Now with new hardware and a new setting in Southern Europe, Forza Horizon 2 expands even further, letting players go completely outside the lines to take off cross-country. Combining music lovers and car enthusiasts, the Horizon Festival takes you through six regions of France and Italy, driving through wine country, industrial centers, city streets, ancient ruins, and coastal cliffs. You'll need to succeed in 15 championships before the finale, and between championships you'll partake in mass road trips to the next region on your list, giving you a chance to take in the view and get comfortable in a new vehicle before putting it to the test. Back-to-back -back wins in your first two championships. What more could we ask for? Congratulations, mate. However, you're not locked into a given path. You can switch to a different championship suited for whichever car you'd like to drive, whether it's a versatile Lancer, the flying saucer-like Lamborghini Veneno, or an open-wheel Caterham. After each event, you can choose to challenge a ghost from the leaderboard in a rival's version of that race, and every so often you'll be invited to showcase events, engaging in spectacles such as racing against a train or a team of jets. Every time you level up, you get to play the slots with wheel spins that bestow sums of cash or free cars. With so many vehicles coming as rewards and a career structure that lets you set your own pace, you don't need to grind for credits or buy a car that you don't really want. Based on the same physics engine as Forza Motorsport 5, Forza Horizon 2 benefits from a solid foundation with nuanced handling, clear behavioral differences between cars, and strong feedback so that you always know when you're pushing the car to the edge. It's more relaxed than the Motorsport series, and those fans should have little trouble even with the assists off, but it's still a fairly authentic drive, giving you room to dig into the ebb and flow of mastering the corners. Other Forza staples find different values in the open world. The driving line serves more basic navigational needs as you crisscross the map, and the ability to rewind can speed up retries as you aim for the perfect angle off a tricky jump. The biggest change comes with off-road play. Bounding over hillsides with few solid walls is exhilarating as you catch air and cut through vineyards nearly blind in cockpit view. Sliding through the dirt and learning where to cut corners makes for some of the best events, and when the game tells you to ignore the road, it isn't joking because there's practically no chance you'll reach the goal in time if you follow the GPS. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Horizon 2 succeeds in its open world design as well. Rather than just tagging everything on the map and becoming a waypoint simulator, it encourages and rewards exploration. There's lots of fun spots to discover just off the beaten path, many hiding XP-bearing collectibles or hidden bucket list events. These challenges give you brief moments with some of the game's hottest cars, often requiring a few attempts to clear. The roads are peppered with speed cameras, testing your lead foot versus your friends. Barn finds get you on the search for rare cars, and photo checklists reward avid shutterbugs with credits for snapping pics of all the game's vehicles. Populating this world are drive avatars based on other players' driving profiles. Like the NPCs in the first game, you can drive up and challenge them in head-to-head -head races, only now you might recognize that name above their head. These doppelgangers not only drive in the same style as their human masters, but are designed to follow where those players have explored as well. We tailed a few drive avatars, but while our stalking attempts got us off the beaten path, our targets didn't lead us to any buried treasure. More quirky issues include a tendency for individual drive avatars to show up again only moments after you pass them, and there's a plague of level 1s everywhere, many representing friends who clearly don't have the game yet. Once Forza Horizon 2 gets out to the general public, these issues may dissipate rapidly, but at this point the promise of open world drive avatars doesn't seem to have fully materialized. Hey, a new station's just been added to your radio presets. If you'd like to race against actual humans, there are two main options, online road trip and online free roam. And in addition to races, both include team games of King and Infection in arena spaces like a golf course and a group of smashable greenhouses. Road Trip is a quick way to jump in, voting to participate in championships of four pre-selected events. Rather than running them back to back though, you actually drive from event to event, which can get a little dull after the first few times. Position in the championship is determined by XP rather than position. Since players are awarded more XP when they turn off assists, this means that one player could win every race but lose the overall cup to someone driving at a higher difficulty, which makes for a curious sense of balance. 
Online free roam is actually much more interesting. The host can set group waypoints to any event on the map and customize the event class, weather, and time of day. If you don't like an event that's starting, you can simply pass and keep roaming the world for collectibles until the group does something you'd like, or you can ask if anyone knows the location of a hidden barn find you're missing. You can even work together with another player in co-op bucket list challenges. This means that at any point, four of you in the session could be in a race while two others are in a co-op challenge and two more are off wandering the countryside. It's a great low-pressure way to get together online. Those interested in more long-term alliances can create or join car clubs, and all of Forza's robust customization and sharing options are still present, letting you swap out parts and paint to your heart's desire with curated designs suggested whenever you purchase a new vehicle. Oh, and if you were hoping to be the first one to make a solid gold Escalade, sorry, but you're already too late. This isn't a race, so take it easy. Enjoy the drive. In some ways, Forza Horizon 2 doesn't feel that different from the original, but its proficiencies are expressed in new ways as you joyfully tumble across wide stretches of terrain. It gets open-world gameplay right by continually encouraging you to explore, and you may climb a hill just to look over the scenic landscape and watch the clouds roll in.